Often in geology we want to know the intersection between two planes. For example, if I have a plane in this direction and a plane in this direction, the intersection defines the uh, uh, hinge, if you like, of a fold. And that can be a useful thing to deduce. So I'm going to show you now on the stereo net how we find the intersection line between two planes. So I'll quickly plot up the planes for 11040 north and 280 west. So if I've got 110, here it is, there's 90, 100, 110, and I need 40 north. So I'm just coming down 10, 20, 30, 40. There's that plane. I'm doing this quite quickly. That's that one, and I'll do the plane striking 280 west, if that's 180, 190, that's the strike, 200, turn it to the AB line, 80 west coming in from the west side to 80, that's the plane. I've done that quite quickly, but there you go. There are my planes, one in this direction, one in this direction, and they intersect in that line. And there it is, there's where they cross, that's the intersection line. A line in space heading out from the centre of the stereo net to that line and plunging into the porridge bowl, if you like. Okay, so to find out the orientation of that line, find a straight line, maybe the AB line, could be the XY line, and make it go through the line. And pretend that you're standing on the drawing pin and look out along that straight line to the edge of the stereo net and that will be the bearing and in fact that bearing is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 degrees away from north so it's 0, 1, 0 and while I'm on the line I can count the plunge down 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees so this line has an orientation of 40 degrees plunge towards a bearing of O10. That's the line of intersection between these two planes.